Knights of Apollo, what is up guys? Welcome to Rogue State Revolution. So today's video is sponsored by Modern Wolf. I want to give them a huge thank you for supporting my channel and sponsoring today's video. So what is Rogue State Revolution? Well, it's an awesome strategy game where you play as the leader or president or dictator on how you want to play it of the great nation of Basenji. Which, yes, Basenji is a breed of dog, which is their logo. That's why there's a little dog statue here. It's a made-up Middle Eastern nation that just got through a two brutal civil wars. And you have been elected president in their new, de you know, de democracy. There we go. That's what I was looking for. They voted you in, and it's up to you to fix the nation. Uh, so the game is out, guys. There's a link down in the video description. So use that link. Get the game. It is really fun. In the game, you're going to have to balance many different things that, you know, really, you know, policy, anything that, that comes to a nation, you know, about, you know, anything that requires you to lead to na the nation into glory. So military, diplomacy, uh, trade, resources, uh, making different political parties happy, like the conservatives, the liberals, uh, the religious, the secular, uh, and yeah, that's, I mean, you'll see in today's uh, little playthrough all the different stuff, stuff you have to manage. You have to, there's also five regions in the great uh, country of Basanji where you have to uh, make sure those regions are happy, they're balanced, you know, there's not too much industry, but there's, you know, there's enough industry, that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's the other thing you have to manage. Industry, natural resources, um, keeping the country clean, but also producing a lot of oil, you know, that kind of balance that you have to bring to a nation to make sure everybody's happy and you have to defend the nation you have to fight in wars so it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm excited so let's jump into a new game we're gonna play on medium uh this is i've already done the tutorial i, I know the basics but i only know the basics so we're gonna kind of keep this on easy you can go through and uh change this the settings for the game so we're gonna keep this easy and we're gonna go as Apollo, and let's start this bad boy. All right, 6.30. Well, that ended badly. <laughs> Somebody must have poisoned my tea. I bet it was that janitor. I see how he looks at me. All right, we've been elected. We've been sworn into office. This time I must do better. In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned representing a wide political spectrum, with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed, you will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side no matter what. I always love uh, the real like live action, I guess he's what you could call live action cutscenes. Uh, it reminds me of Command and Conquer. I, I don't know, I just love that stuff. There's a charm to it. Anyways, this is where you pick your cabinet. Now, you have all these different characters here. You can unlock more for different ministries, but you have to kind of pick people with their pros and cons so you can see that there's also like every person here is either liberal they, they have two different 
like stats. You're either conservative, liberal, or secular, or religious. I kind of try to pick a balance, but naturally, even if you, it usually will be balanced, you know? So I'm gonna, you know, like depending on whatever you pick, I mean, they're all kind of different in their beliefs. So I guess these two are the same, liberal and secular. Uh, so it is, it's a little different. I, again, I try to keep it the full spectrum, get a little of everything, liberal, conservative, secular, religious. So let's start with the first guy here. He's frugal, which is really good. Construction costs lowered for buildings related to his ministry. Um, but he's also cunning. It may alter policies in his ministry randomly without your consent. That's kind of annoying, but frugal is really good. So let's put him at the Ministry of Development. Oops, Development, there you go. Uh, then we have this lady who's, I really hate her traits. Uh, she's tactless. So the loyalty of the other ministers will drop by 1% every third turn. That's so bad. I don't, I'm not even going to add her to the cabinet. Uh, then we have this liberal, secular, inspiring dude. He's, uh, he's inspiring civilian unit specific to his department. will get a free upgrade, but his poor health. So he can die at any time. So, uh, I think I'm going to put him at resources. And then we got conservative religious. He's resourceful. So extra event options are made available for specific uh, to for events specific to that ministry. So it, like what basically what happens at the end of every turn, there's some events that pop up and you have to make a decision. So if there's a like decision of defense or citizenship or justice, wherever we put them, we'll get an extra option, which is pretty cool. But he is a moron. So let's put him. Uh, let's put him at uh, citizenship. Why not? Then we got this fellow here. He's popular. So if we add him to the cabinet, his province will increase in loyalty to us or approval rating, which his province is represented by these little symbols here. You'll see them once they're in game. I believe I forgot the name of the province, but the people of the province will approve us more because we have them in the cabinet. Uh, but he is selfish. Ignoring his request has a greater impact on your loyalty to you. That's not too much of a big deal. We'll go ahead and put him in defense. And there you go. That's all we got. You can add more cabinet um, candidates later. So here is the grand country of Basanji. So it's very cool. It's um, I think it's different every time too. The way the provinces are laid out and stuff. So... A lot of replayability when you play the game. So right now, our biggest problem is we have no power. This is the first thing you have to do in all the starts of your campaign. You've got to connect a connect a road to these uh, two two stations here. So let's go ahead and build a road. Oh, first off, let me go over everything you see here very quickly. So these are your cabinets. You click on them to kind of tell them to what policies and what research we should pursue. We'll go over that very soon. Uh, but over here, this is your... Uh, province overview kind of shows you how they are with all these different traits health uh, safety prosperity entertainment education and environment and you can improve these different stats through construction and policies you, you also have your approval rating and you also have your workers which you get more workers through your um, immigration uh, down here is all your insights, kind of shows you like your nation and where you're at with everything, tourism and everything. And then this is your budget. We're currently at making zero funds. So um, I might, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna defund tourism right now because it's not important to me right now. Uh, and I, I guess it also defunds entertainment as well. But that's going to help us make five resources. It almost looks like Bitcoin. Uh, but it's going to help us produce more money per turn. And um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead. And this is your construction panel. This is where you can build different buildings to either improve, you know, different things in your nation. But first, let's build a road and connect these two provinces. And by doing that, we now have power. We have food. Uh, basically, this is your total food you're producing. And this is how much your nation needs. So we're surplus in food, which is good. But the reason we're making so much food is because all of the UN camps here. So during our second civil war, the UN set up uh, like relief camps for food 
for the civilians. We eventually want to get these out of here. But I'm going to leave them for now because we won't have to build any farms just yet. Uh, we don't have a ton of resources. Uh, so we got to really choose wisely in what we want to do. Now, this is a big... Whenever it's in red, I try to fix it. You notice how the health of this region is in red. We got to try to fix that. So it's Saba. And one way we can do it is by building a hospital. So let's go ahead and go to construction. Let's build a hospital in this city here. That should automatically make a road as well. I don't think, yep, yeah, boom, there we go. And look at that, it's back up to three. Perfect, that's what I like to see. Also, it kind of shows what it helps with. You can see the two arrows going up for health. So that's really good. Um, I'm gonna save the rest of my money. We might wanna look into getting a military base here soon, but uh, let me just show you really quick, I forgot to mention this. At the bottom here, these are like your action points. We have four action points. We still have one left over. I guess I'm just gonna save it. And then this big arrow is the end to end the turn. And um, you can also uh, see like civilian units or military units that haven't been moved or, you know, they have action points you can use. But we don't have any civilian or military units so we can just end the turn. So usually when you end the turn, there's our little event, um, event choice here. Uh, conservatives in, in Rumney are complaining that English is being taught in elementary schools. They fear that this is another example of cultural erosion. Hey, and the American, Americans, 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 why do I suck at words? Americanizing our youth. Gosh, darn it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm dyslexic. It sucks. All right. So, um, I think just go in here. Our students should be asked to choose a second language to... Yeah, let's let's go with this. It's gonna improve our education overall in the country, but it also doesn't make anyone upset. So we'll do that. Boom, very fun. And now this is diplomacy. So we are interacting. I'm not gonna do anything with them, but if you go to diplomacy, you can call different nations. We've got Zarbil, Akstenjon, and Bablistan. Bab Bablistan. And then here's their uh, our relation with the the influencer relations. So very cool, very cool stuff. Um, how are we doing on finances? Let's go ahead and review our budget. Ooh, we're making four. So we kind of lost some resources there. We need to figure out a way to get more resources, and one way of doing that is through trade. So let's look. Um, well, the first thing we want to do is click on the palace here, right? In the palace location is where you can train a surveyor, resource surveyor, Excellent. and he, if you zoom out, will go look for resources. So we'll go to the closest one, which is probably this one, because he's going to have to cross a bridge to get to this one. So we'll get him to go here. It's going to take, oh, he also has to cross a bridge here, but it's all right. He'll take um, a couple turns. It's fine. So basically, you need a surveyor to unlock new resources and natural resources in your nation, which you can be used. Uh, excuse me, which you can use uh, for different things. So again, I didn't show you this, but this is your resource production. You have your raw food, your processed food, your household appliances, your consumer electronics, and then your luxury goods. If you're making a surplus of any of these, you can trade them to other nations and make even more money. So. Um, and again, to get this, to unlock this stuff, you basically have to build certain factories and buildings to do so. Let's go ahead. Um, and the surveyor does have an option here. Uh, no, not the road, Excellent. the surveyor. You can use up an action point and he can go um, as twice as far this turn. So I really want him to get going. Oops, I think I just misclicked there. Hold on. Excellency. So let's click on you, go. Excuse me, sir. There you go. And he's off. All right, that's awesome. Also, guys, at the palace, you can get a inspector, facilities inspector. These are really good because they will inspect your, well, yeah, inspect facilities. Praise, yeah, duh. 
but they prevent corruption. Sometimes you can have corruption in certain uh, facilities and you want to prevent that because it'll hurt your, you know, your economy or whatever. So uh, we're not going to get one of those just yet because I want to save my resources as much as possible. Well, in the turn and see what we have here. Okay, the UN has passed the Toronto Pact, a landmark agreement requiring member states to cap their carbon emissions. Here's the different things we can do here. Uh, sign and adhere to the Toronto Pact, sign and, and ignore the Toronto Pact, or refuse to sign the Toronto Pact. Um, okay, so we can improve. So if we, if we do this one, Oh man, this is tricky. This is very tricky. Um, this one's good because we improve the environment, we improve international climate leadership, and we improve the liberal view on our nation, but oil prices fall, and I am I think I'm gonna not sign it. It's gonna hurt our, our environment, but I'm kind of relying on oil. I, our nation's gonna be very oil focused. Let's go ahead and look at our budget again. Still four. We gotta get some resources going. So let's go back to this surveyor. All right, so he should get close enough here Excellency. to unlock this resource. And we'll see what it is. I'm hoping that it's oil because I wanna produce more oil than we need. So we're going to click on him and he's going to find it. Yes, it is oil. So let's go to our construction. Let's build a oil refinery. Boom. We're not even going to have to build roads to it. So that's perfect. Uh, let's see. Missing road connection to that demands our product. Oh, I see. Oh, man. We are <laughs> we're becoming a very dirty nation. As we are, every time we build this, it's hurting the environment when we do this. Okay, so, um, missing road power plants or plastic factories that demand our product. So, we could build plastic, a plastic factory, which would start producing some um, processed foods, I think. Oh, we also need a... Um, uh, we need farmland to do this as well. Uh, so let's just see in the meantime if we can trade with anyone. We're gonna we're gonna talk to this nation because they like us theme the most. So let's call. Okay, and negotiate trade. We're not producing anything they need. Okay, well that's too bad. All right, we'll hold off on the trading then. I think next turn we will build a plastic factory and then we need some farmland and then we'll start producing some um processed food which is really good uh let's go let's see where's the next i guess i could go could take him over here to survey this land over here and just see what resources they have okay cool uh we'll end the turn we still have no military which is a problem let's see excellency many of our most educated doctors and surgeons are leaving to pursue opportunities in uh, Zarbil, where they can make more money. Ooh, create financial incentives for them to stay. Ooh, that's gonna be so expensive. <sighs> Requires university. Dang. I don't have enough money. We're just there's nothing we can do about it. That's just a crappy event. Ministry of Natural Resources would um would prove a powerful ally if we improve relations with them. So what does he want? B Balistan would prove a powerful ally if we improve our relations with them. Okay, we can try to do that. Uh, and the, we got to build some food. That's the first thing. Look at we're we're now negative with food. So let's go ahead and go to the field here. And where can we build this? Uh, we could really build it anywhere. You have to build it where it's green. So we'll put it near. Let's see. Let's put it near this city here. There we go. And that's gonna help our food situation. Boom, there it is. Okay, 
So that's going to bring us closer to processed foods. We just need to get a plastics factory going. And once we do that, we will be good to go. All right, we're still going to save on save our resources. We're making even less money now because we we're building new buildings. Let's get our surveyor going so we can get more resources. There he goes. And we will end the turn. Sweet. All right, look who it is. This is the person we want to improve. Greetings again. Okay, so I'd like to improve relations with Russia. I think we can do it. Okay, agree. We will just because one of my ministers wants you to wants us to have a good relationship with you guys. Anyways, I completely forgot. This is where you can pick your resource and your policies. So we need money. And I'm going to do that by getting toll roads. Entertainment and rural approval will go down, but it's something I'm willing to deal with because we're barely making any money. Uh, over here, I'll let them pri prioritize cars. That will make the royal rural people happy. Uh, and then internet censorship. Uh, no, let's do regulated internet. Let's definitely not do public internet. We'll do regulated. And then let's see what else. Conservative approval, nationalized health. We'll keep it the two tier healthcare. And it's limited. Ed uh, let's do nationalistic education. Okay. And you can only do one research at a time for right now. So we'll research other stuff later. Let's go to go ahead and go to natural resource. We need to start investiga uh, invest investigating, <laughs> investing, not investigating, investing in solar power. Let's see, consume power or ration power. No, we'll just consume power, and well, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, that's good. Let's go to citizenship, travel bans. Yeah, that's good. Um, let's see, what should we research? Revise Anthem. No, we don't want to do that. Liberation Day. That costs money. Prosperity will go down. Religious approval will go up. A day of prayer. Statue galore. Uh, more statues. That can never go wrong. So you can snow. Work visas. That would be good for getting more immigrants. In, but we don't really need to do that. Let's do citizen. Let's see. Banned immigrant voting. No, we don't want to do that. Air security upgrade. Yeah, we'll do that. That will help our s safety in the nation. And then here's our military. Um, national defense. Let's see, occupation army. We'll do national defense. And then what should we get? Psychological warfare. That kind of. I don't want to get anything that's going to cost. Description, chemical weapons. Let's do anti tank missiles. Okay, just in case some tanks roll up here. All right, that's pretty good. I think I'm happy about that. We'll go ahead and end the turn. And hopefully, we get some good events here. Oh boy. Excellent. Our officials are learning that for a, a two day period, water treatment plants in Karif experience a catastrophic. catastrophic Failure. Many citizens will be ill from consuming water contamination with dangerous bacteria. Blame this on the act of terrorism. Ooh. Share everything with the public and declare a public health emergency. Ugh. Let's blame it on terrorists. <laughs> when in doubt, blame it on terrorists. All right. All right. How's... How's our budget now? Five. It's getting there. It's getting there. I could take out more of this. We're just like barely making enough. I think we have enough though to build a plastics, right? No, we need 50. Oof. I think we just have to lower the budget. It sucks, but we got to do what we got to do. I want to make at least 10. There we go. Firm changes. Surveyor. Excellency. Keep going. Keep moving. Very well. Let's go. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use this ability. And we'll get there very soon. All right, so we still have our objectives here. Improve relations with Badlistan, increase your standing with the Russian Federation. Let's see if we can do that now. Um, I mean, how much more do we have to improve? Oh, I've never done this. Uh, so we're not gonna do this. Oops. Uh, w let's see if we can, uh, no. How can we improve relations? I don't know. Let's see, is there anything we can do to improve Russia? We could build. Uh, we'll just we're just gonna have to wait. I'm not sure how long it takes, like how long I have until I lose out on these objectives. Investigation revealed that there is a small and secret group of doctors in Saba that are illegally ass assessing, assisting. Legally, okay. That are legally assisting their terminally ill patients commit suicide. Liberals are seeing this as an opportunity to reopen the conversation about physician assisted suicide. This is a sh this is sure to pol polarize our nation even further. Ooh, okay. Legalized physician, okay. Legalized physician suicide in Saba only. Or the doctors broke the law and they should be arrested. Oh, um, terminally ill. I mean, I think this is fine. I'm just going to do it. That's such a big percentage. Negative eight. Oh, this is such a, this is such a bad place. I think I'm just going to make it legal in Saba only. That sucks. None of those were good. I'd like to move towards improving our rule of law. Agree if you think you can do it the next eight month. Okay. How about you mind? How about you worry about your own nation and your rule of law? Okay. All right. So let's build finally our plastics. So we're going to put that. Well, where can we put it? I don't think we've built in here yet. So we should probably build spread out the industry, you know, Just build that there. Boom. Now, I think we'll be producing, um, we'll be producing, uh, processed foods. That's good, right? Missing road. What? Missing road connection to a manufacturing plant that demands our product. Oh, do we still need to build a manufacturing plant? We do. God. Okay. All right, what's our budget at? 12. All right, I guess we can improve some stuff now. There we go. Just to get it back up to, uh, okay, we got, we got some bad situations going on here. We've got environment issues over here in Roma, Romea. So what can we do about that? Nothing. All right, we'll end the turn. <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. The Basenji spy operating in Akasjan has been captured. Okay, this is unfortunate. This is unfortunate. We'll get some intelligence. We'll go with the middle one. I'm sorry, you found our spy. <laughs> Uh, they're concerned their approval levels among conservative citizens are too low. I don't know why they care so much. Dude, I agree with you. I agree with you, okay? But I was in between a rock and a hard place, all right? Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and uh, survey this. Deposit. Oh, very cool. What can we build here? I guess we build a mine there, but we don't have any money, so... Excellency. Well, that's good. We found another resource. Let's um, find another one, shall we? Maybe we can find some gold or something. There. 
You did good. Excellency. You did good, kid. Right, get going. There you go. We can't really build anything right now. Intelligence is way up. Oh my god. That's awesome. Food is, um, ugh, food's gonna be a problem soon. Alright, we'll end the turn. I think this, this next turn we're gonna have to get some food. Uh, excellently, health inspectors have found that the that a quarter of Bansanji, Bansanji farmers are not following national regulations. Uh, the food price is falling. Increase fines for farmers and non-compliance. So press report, nobody's dying yet. No, we can't do that. Food prices fall. Alright, we gotta build another farm. So, we'll build it right here, near this city. Let's build our farm. Boom. Alright. Very nice. That should help a little bit. Let's look at our budget. 21! Nice! How are we doing this? Food. Domestic markets. That's cool. Okay, that's really good. And then, hey, we can get a new... Let's get a new minister. I guess we can only pick from you. Minister of Finance. Anything that would help see... Casinos? Yes, casinos. Let's see, policies, regressive tax system. It's gonna make the liberals hate us, but the liberals have already won enough here, okay? Minimum wage. No minimum wage. <laughs> there you go. We got to try to get the conservatives to like us. Dang it. All right. We used up all our action points. We'll go ahead and end the turn. Liberal protesters demanding reform to prison welfare in, in Basanji. Currently, prisoners have very few rights. They're calling for access to nutritious meals, education programs, and visitation rights. We're gonna reject. That's an easy one. Reject demands. Ministry of Defense. Uh, okay, so he wants a nature preserve in the province of Bamfia. Understood. Build. Let's see. R roof. Raise your rule of law reputation a rating of three okay we have a lot to do here let's build a nature preserve in Bamfia let's go to construction oh we don't have enough dang it let's see how's our how's our budget 22 it's it, I mean it's getting up there it's just not good enough when are some of these policies gonna be done I need this toll roads here that's gonna help us a lot all right, let's get the surveyor going. Excellency. He, he's got to go pretty far. Uh-oh. What's going on over there? Excellency. Keep going. Very well. Uh, there... Let's see. P protests are being reported. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, we might have to build our military soon. Excellent. I should remind you that next month marks the fifth anniversary of the Bensanji uh, Revolution. You will, of course, be expected to make a public statement. Um, close all business. Make a day of mourning for those that we lost. Let's do a whole military parade. Yeah, that'll be good. What is happening then? Some towns are starting to demand processed foods. All right, we got, oh my God. We got to build some plants here. All right, we're gonna build it right here. Can we build any, yes, manufacturing plant. We got it, we got it. We're working on it. Construct adjacent to town. Okay, we'll build it right there. You will get your processed food very soon. Processed food. There you go. All right, God, leave me alone. Let's end the turn. I should do it. Fundamentalists are requ uh, requesting that we turn the old ways religious festival 
Massa, uh, I can't pronounce it, a national holiday. While I'm sure many would enjoy this, the festival has historical connections with the slaughter of it. Oh my god, no, we can't do that, no. Sorry. What was that? Alright, we're now producing processed foods. People are protesting. I don't care. What? We were disappointed in that relationship. Oh, I'm sorry. Just keep working on... Oh, he's already losing loyalty to me. Ah! Oh, so annoying. Okay. We still can't build a nature reserve yet. Oh my god, there's protests everywhere! What are they upset about? Food? I, I guess it's a processed food thing? I don't... Why? <laughs> don't do this! Alright guys, so I think this is a good point to end the episode on. Hopefully this gives you a good introduction of the basics. I, I, as you can tell, I still have a lot to learn. But it's very challenging. I'm playing like very easy level and I'm, and I'm having a tough time balancing everything. But it is super fun. So remember guys, link down in the video description. Use that link. Uh, to get the game and it's the game's out. It's a lot of fun and I'm having a blast playing it So big thank you to modern wolf modern wolf for sponsoring today's video do really appreciate it Thank you guys so much for the support I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Thank you guys. I'll see you later